Hey there, guys and girls, this is MJ from Reacting here, and welcome to our new Let's Play of Industry Transporters. And it is the, what you call it, the third one, tr trequel, trequel, in their series of, uh, what you call it, Industry Giants. So the second and the first one were Industry Giant 1 and 2, and this one just has a rename, just... Uh, what you call it, industry transporters, and that's it, just a name change. The game, it's, it's very similar to its previous ones in the series. Um, I have played the game a bit, um, tutorial and stuff. The game, again, is an early access, and I have to stress it. It's it's quite, it, it just got released, I, I've just gotten it. But I tell you, that the bugs that are found in this game are ridiculous, um, and it's very frustrating. So I hope you guys can bear with that with me. Um, as we go through this let's play, so we're gonna do new game, um, you see I can't do career mode, I don't think it's in, well I, I completed the tutorial so, I don't know why, I don't know, maybe maybe they just don't have a career mode yet, okay so we'll go single map, um, custom map that's like choosing, what do you call that, like pre-done pre maps. And then random maps randomly generated. Okay, so um, since it starts up on these settings, I'm, I'm gonna just leave it at that. Even though it says easy, they still work in the dark. You never know the easy could be normal. Now, if you see the difficulty, 95% of I've actually I've, I've haven't been able to get it to 100%. Um, I've found it kind of hard to do that. But um, here we go. So we can select our CEO, and of course it's gonna be Emperor Rag. Okay, there we go, Emperor Rag. There we go. That's that's completely done. And I want to do it, His Majesty's Transport Company. So I'm going to put that in, Majesty's. I hope I spelled this right. His Majesty's Transport Company. There we go. See, so I've got that now in there. His Majesty. Well, let's see. I am Emperor Rag. I am the king of wh whichever country. And this is my new trading company, His Majesty's Transport Company. So that is it, normal map, the setup, the goals there, it's sandbox. So it's all good. That's totally sorted out there. Here we have our starting date. I think that is the absolute starting date. You can actually play around with this, choose different starting dates. I've, I've selected zero. Hasn't done much, did nothing. But here we go, this, I'm just gonna leave it as a standard settings here. Um, I do want to select a different one. So we could go with that, a blue and then a light blue. Um, I think that's what I'm going to choose. So we'll just go straight away to creating. Next thing, um, no other competition. Because that I, I was having a bit of problems with that. It was very, it was acting very funny. So we'll just get going, I would say. Okay, Emperor Rag and His Majesty's Transport Company. We've just got $20 million to start off with. Okay. There we go. It's just going and generating the map here. Okay, fantastic. Um, since we do start in like this, the scrolling, it's it's at a okay-ish speed. It, it is quite slow there. You can change it, but I won't change it. Um, if we go to industry, this is what we want to start off with. We want to go for research. Um, sorry, not research, resource. And we want to find something here. Um, farm, there we go. want to choose a farm and hopefully, wait, that's, that's actually selecting the farm. But if you select here, it takes you to it. And oh my flip, isn't that well... That was, that was actually very lucky. I do know that farms actually go and spawn quite close to cities, um, which makes it fantastic at starting off. But since we do have a farm, what I want to do is do meat. Because I love my good beef, and it's very good. So if you guys look down here, these are all the resources that they produce. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but of course that, that's your wheat, grain, fruit. Um, I think that's fruit, vegetables, and your beef, well, your cows. Okay, so we want to open up, it's the build menu properties different, it just shows what you own. It's pretty much your assets, or your assets there. Um, food there, that's where it is. Food factory, this will be the right one. So we'll do food factory and we'll set it up right close to that. Um, it seems, they don't seem to be exactly upset with me putting it like right next to them. So that seems good. Um, if they're not going to be upset, then why not actually just go and do that? Okay, we could always go and set up a storage, but that's for more complex uh, production chains, as you would call it. But let's go and double click. Well, that is that, that's okay. But if you double click there, that goes and opens it up. I, I just need to go and manage this. I would actually like that there. The FPS is in the bottom there, by the way. Um, I'll just set it above in case any of you guys want to go and check out my FPS. I don't know why you would, but still. 
Okay, so this is just information. This is where we can actually go and select stuff and create stuff there. So we can choose meat, which will create the product there. And now we'll acquire one livestock, which is, it's good. <laughs> this is insanely close, which I'm having. This is more just like other information. This is the amount of money that they have. If they run out, they go bankrupt, the business disappears, and then it respawns somewhere else. The game will just go and spawn up another one. So that's how it is there. For this episode, I just want to show off um, creating the first production chain. And then from then on, I'll be like, yeah, next episode, boom. And a bit of jump there, slide in, time lapse, maybe something like that. Um, just to keep it interesting, like send up production chains and stuff. Okay, so we do have that. We can close that pretty much. And this will just go and start producing meat for us. These different tabs here are the different resources you would say are acquired, whether they be refined or raw. And as you can see, it just requires like one. So the maximum that they could require any type of goods would be five. So that's it there. You can upgrade this, which I think upgrades it to a medium sized factory, which then just allows it to hold more and in i think produce more and storage it's it's, it's built in storage there that that's just how it is okay um the farm there we we've got that that's understood um we want to do terminals because we do want to build ourselves a road and we want to have it joined in quite nicely so that it can actually get to the stores okay so what do we want to go and play so we've got we've got a farm there that's that's top that's awesome that is there and we've got ourselves our actual food factory now we need ourselves a store to actually go and sell the goods. Um, let's go into food, food, yes, and we'll select that there. Um, I should have actually probably clicked concrete floor because that would have um, reduced um, upkeep costs. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to capture the area with the most coverage, being that it will allow us to sell more goods. So having that there will allow us to sell 21 compared to here, which sells us 20 meat. Um, and then there's frozen meat. Oh, that's a bit strange. Frozen meat. Frozen cakes. Kind of good. So that's what... You can just do that. Okay, that's awesome. So it, there's many. I think there were like... There's over 100 different types of goods that you can make and sell. Um, I'm just going to try and get the one with the best place. Uh, and um, the demand, is, as you guys can see, that the little pop-up there, that little box shows the demand that you'll receive and you don't want to oversupply and such. Otherwise, the prices will decrease. That also is dependent on the different seasons. There's four seasons in the game. And it pretty much just changes the demand. Okay, so we'll place that down there. It will destroy a bunch of houses, making it expensive. It will cost us a lot more since we are destroying city infrastructure. So we'll place that down there. Our stores up. It's fantastic. This is very close. So we probably won't it won't be so hard to be able to deliver the good. Um, this is your news panel. It just keeps on booming economy, something like that. And it'll just go and help out in general. Okay, so we've got that selected. And um, if we just have our dude there, he'll probably double click. Okay, I think we can only double click there. I think he'll just go and collect goods and stuff if it, uh, we set it up like that. Okay, so we'll not see. Yep, assets. There we go. Demolishing. Um, that's where we demolished, and then that's what we built. Um, terminals. Now we want to go with the street. There's water, rails, and air, flying, and all that stuff there. But we've got streets. This is this is trucks. That's it. Um, I'm thinking, do we want normal? Oh, as you guys can see, it shows you there when it highlights in blue, it shows you where it will capture from and such. Um, I'm just wondering, if we were to actually go and place it here, I think it would actually go and collect every good. I think, I'm not even sure that we actually need roads. I think at all, because it has like this radius, and that's where it delivers goods. So that will deliver there, and then this seems like... It could possibly be in range of that. I might just go and put like something down there just to go and capture it all. Um, yeah, I should actually go and rotate, um, rotate it. And that's what you do. You press baseball. But there, that should be good. So it connects with everything. So that goes and captures all this territory here. We, we did have some more demolishing costs. Um, so that's what it just does there. We'll have to set up like a transport route. Um, I'm, not, I'm not actually sure how it's going to work since they're all close together. I'm, does it just go and capture? It might it might just do that. That would be awesome. Then then there's no real reason why I actually had that down there. Right click just really goes and deselects everything. So you double click there. You select on that. Um, It's one of these. It's double click. I'm supposed to be able to select my product. Let me just find this out again. Okay, wait. 
Click there. Okay, I know that sells food. It is mine. It was here before. Name. I know that's selecting prices. I swear there's supposed to be a drop down box. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. My mistake. There it is. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> it was just hidden a bit there. Okay, so we have that there and we can select all different products. Milk, bread, fruit, vegetables, and meat. Pretty much just the raw materials. This is what the store goes and does. So we'll choose meat. Now it's selected there. And this is what we can choose. So obviously that is the base cost. $16,156. Oh my, flip for meat. Oh my, wait. Obviously it's not showing the point there. Okay, well we can go and update to that to about a 10% increase. Um, that's totally good. Affections, yeah, I think that just boosts up the town. So the more, pro well, that's just generally how many people want to go there. So this, in order for it to sell a good amount, so as to not upset the people of this town, you do want to have a good affection, so that people go and buy more from your store. Um, you need to bring in 50. So that's it, 50. We had a 10% increase. Okay, so our factory will go and produce. It should. I don't know how to actually check if that actually is producing anything. Um, I I could probably check. Yeah, that that's one thing. I don't know if it produces. All right, this is a small farm. You're obviously producing livestock, but maybe I actually just need a, like transport just a bit, and I think that's just what I need to do. And there's also the deforming tool here. I'm in the build menu, and if I double click, I should be able to buy. Uh, what's okay? This is the roots. Okay, fantastic. Um, the game does like jump at a bit, uh, as I'm sure you can see there. Um, South Magberg. This is obviously its starting location. Um, waypoints. Can I learn? No. Where do I go and actually go and buy something here? Um, trucks. No, guys, I'll be right back when I can actually find where to buy it. I've forgotten where you actually go and buy it. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, guys, so I did figure out how it works, and yes, this is how it works. It's like I had to go look it up on how it works. It was insane. So, um, let me just show you how it is done. Okay, so. What you do is this, this is the vehicles here, you buy it there, there's only one vehicle, and this is where you buy, you select and then you buy, click see it selected, buy, that's what it does, tells you the stats here, vehicle purchase, uh, where I go is I go to the trucks here, and this is where, as I click on that, at the moment now it, it will go and get food, so over here it picks up meat, um, which I should actually go and change because it's not supposed to do that first, uh, we're going to get it to pick up other things, so we click on that, we delete it, um, we go to first location. I needed to deselect that, select that, and um, there we go. Just jump for a bit. And I needed to select, okay, load like this, and get it to select the cars. Okay, that, that took me so long to figure out. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to set up the next place, which is load up there, same place. It doesn't really go anywhere. But since now that is selected, and we just click here, we select meat, and this is where it is. So, it's what it's supposed to do, is it's supposed to pick up that, drop it off somewhere, and it's supposed to, let's see, if, if it's actually getting it stuff, I'll be amazed, sorry guys, it's, it's a bit of a figuring out thing, so it isn't happening there, we'll just keep that open and we'll close that. I get the feeling of how it's supposed to be done, it's, it's kind of like programming. Um, because it actually isn't receiving any of its food, so that's a bit worrisome. So it's gonna pick up there because this place picks up everything there. Um, I'm gonna change it to, I think, I think ticking it means it picks it up. So we're gonna deselect that. We're gonna get it to instead choose to load. Um, well, this load I would think it is. Can you select that or I think I have to fully delete it. So we set it up there. Um, select this off and we click that. Okay, so now it disloads that. We have to select again. Okay. Um, can I select? There we go. I've got it now. Okay, select that. And now I got it to load the meat, which it will go and get. And then I'm going to select again. And select my next one. 
can you get it there we go thank you good so now we got to set it to not load that one um and we wanted to disload unload there we go unload as soon as i can click that wait there we go i need to actually select that like that bit of a funny thing there okay so there we go i think we'll disload it now um and i think that's pretty much how it should be um now i, I just gotta hope I'm in the hoping stages now. That it should work. Because this game's funny. Oh, what was that? It says there's one. Is it actually receiving anything? Is that actually producing one every month? Is this exporting? Could, could I check? Are you receiving something? That's how much you need. It seems like you are getting. So if I can just monitor the actual truck. Let's deselect that. But on the info... Let me just drag this. It's a very funny interface. See, like, I can't select this and drag it. Meanwhile, I was able to do it just before. Let me just... I'll, I'll just close it. And now it doesn't want... Oh, my fellas. It's, it's funny. I, I didn't want to select that. <laughs> um, Can I not close this? Okay, let me just scroll out so it doesn't select it. Okay. Maybe I have to deselect. I can't select it. It's bugged. Okay, there we go. Maybe this is updated. Oh, thank you. Oh, early access problems as they are. Okay, so we have that there. Thank you. I want to click info. Okay, when, when you want to. I can't click anything. And it's flipping. It's absolutely bugged out. What the flip? Early access, my friends. Early access. Well, effectively, what it's supposed to do is pick up the cows, drop off the cows, pick up the meat, drop off the meat. All at the same station. Now, the fact that I cannot click on any of that means, yet again, it's bugged. Maybe I should just select it like this and see if I could click on any of this. No. Okay, can, can I reselect any of this stuff? No. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll, I'll sort this out. Um, This is a bit funny. In the next episode, you will see a working thing. But effectively, what's supposed to happen now is it's supposed to sell the good. So I'll see you guys um in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I know it's a bit of an odd episode, and that's because of early access. It's, it's just been released on early access. Of course, there's, there's game-breaking bugs, and th there will be, but I'll, I'll just have to. The, the consumer will always suffer from that. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.